Okay, in this screencast, I'm just going to go over how to make uh, a corpus on Sketch Engine. So, um, first of all, the first step is to have the files ready that you want to make into your corpus. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we did this. We made the, the, looked at the adventures of Sherlock Holmes. So this is the whole thing as one document. Let me just show you quick. There we go. So it's all the, the stories together. For the purposes of this, it's better to have uh, them separate because then you can do different searches or you can compare them with each other, that kind of thing. So I've got them all separately distributed here and like if for example you have a book too it's probably worth dividing the book into its separate chapters just for, for various reasons okay so they're all together in order to put them on a uh, sketch engine they need to be zipped they need to be put into a compressed zip folder and the way you do that is you right you right click on the folder and you go send to compressed folder there we are it's created it for me you can change the name if you want it's fine like that for me so that's all ready to go now I go to sketch engine here we are sketch engine in order to be able to make a corpus you need to sign in uh, using the institutional login Okay, and when you get into this bit, you might see this. We might be here. Uh, the place you want to be is in My Corpora. Now, sometimes it comes in here in the dashboard if you've already got a corpus selected. The one you want is this one. Select Corpus. Go to My Corpora. And we're making a new corpus. So click Create New Corpus. You give it a name. Ventures. It's what is single language. The language is English. That would probably do us. Next. Now we have our text. So I have I have my text. So I click on this one, and it's very simple. You just drag the folder in question into here like that, and wait for it to load, and it will tell you how many words is in that as well, which is quite helpful too. So at this stage, it looks all ready to go. We click on next. Almost ready. We might have a quick look here at the expert settings. Now, this is useful because it's recognized it's an archive file. It's a zip file. You can, by doing this, I believe it makes it easier to separate them out once they're made into the corpus in Sketch Engine. We don't need to worry about these other things for now. That's fine. So save and compile. Just take a, a few seconds for it to do this. So what it's doing is um, adding tags and um, making it possible to do different kinds of searches. So now we are in there. You could have a quick look at this. See, I wouldn't bother with the keywords at this stage, but corpus details might be worth looking at. Or we could just go straight there and start using it. So what we can do, let's say I want to do a, cor a concordance and I want to look for Sherlock. Oh no, it's going to be in here. There we go. That works nicely. And let's see if this works. I have different text types, so it will tell me, yes, how many times it occurs in each uh, file. So there's 12 stories. If I just increase that, there we are. It tells me how, how many times it occurs in each um, different file, which makes up the corpus. So that's about the size of it. Um, do try this out. If you have any questions, please do let me know.